Y'all ready? Yeah. Salud! To Mike. To Mike. To Eminem. Yes, to Eminem. <laughs> The thing I'm looking forward to the most about seeing Michael walk out is just being in his arms, like being able to hug him and hold him just super tight and feel his heartbeat. Went down to move. I don't know Michael as a free man. And when I see Michael walk out of those gates, it'll be the best moment in my life because we will never be apart ever again. Like, that's done. I can't even believe it's like already got this. I know. Like, it's literally like, like a couple of days. Yeah. A few days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's been so long. Like a year and a half is a long time to be yes. waiting for yeah. something. Yes. As I say, it's been a while. Yes. I have the excitement for you because I know that you're happy, but I still have like a major reservation. It's just kind of like the whole, I think the prison aspect of it. Something that I'm still wrapping my head around. I don't know how connected he is from his end. Right. I know how connected you right. are from your mm -hmm. end because right. of how mm -hmm. I physically see right. you get excited mm -hmm. when he's like, oh, he's coming. No, I completely get that. I understand right. that. But like, it's like you don't see the other side. His love is just something I've never experienced before. And it's something so strong and real. But do he have a game plan for like once he's out? Um, yeah, he's going to New York. That's where he's paroled to. Spend time with his daughter, you know, get a job. Oh, did she tell you that she's gonna be moving to New York? What? Yeah. Like, probably within, like, the next month. I think things are just moving a little bit too quickly. First, you're with the guy that's in prison. First, you're engaged. And then I'm finding out that you're about to move to New York and then get married this same year. It's like, what is the rush for? You know CJ was an ex convict, even though I hate that label. Mm -hmm. And I'm a, you know, I'm a single mom, and I, I never thought it out like that. Right. I'm just a little scared. I'm just a little worried. I know what it's like to date someone who's in prison. It's easy to fall in love with someone from a distance. Knowing Megan, she's probably being a little more optimistic. Because this is the first time I've felt that she's had her whole heart into this situation. And it, it makes everything rose-colored. I thought I was his mortal, girl. Mm -hmm. And we shall sleep with other women. But it's easy for them to just be like, oh, I love you. Oh, this for you. And then he turns. Mm -hmm. I don't want that for you. I know. When my guy got out, he could not be there for me because his past is pulling him back. And I know how stressful that can be, how sick it can make you. And I know how you suffer. He's a responsible adult that got a pretty, like, bad deal. I understand my ex is the same one. Too. They're not the same they're person. Not the same. They're not the same person. But they're coming from the same circumstance. But they aren't, though. You don't know his circumstances because you don't know anything about him. I really want to just tell him to shut the f just because she had a hard time with her relationship doesn't mean I'm gonna sit here and let you disrespect my man. Like, shut it up. I don't care what anybody says because I have faith in us and I have the faith in our relationship and that's just how it is. I'm ready for Michael to come home so he can just prove them all wrong. I just want you to be okay. I'm gonna be okay.